Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Plane by the Pound. You might be wondering what's on screen here. This is my living room, and there's a reason that there is my living room. Uh, this is part seven of a surprisingly ongoing series of Tribal Hunter content, which, sorry, was just the game, but then a whole bunch of different bonus content. This is another bonus content video, effectively. Uh, you guys may have heard the Tribal Hunter had a line of plushes released that sold out almost immediately. I got one of the first line um, before they sold out. I, I snapped right that right up because I I saw a bonus opportunity when I when I saw one, um, and that that was good content. So, to, so I have a video here that I pre-recorded uh, actually a few months back. It's been a little slow to get to this, but here we are finally. Uh, it's been busy, so let's check this out. Of course, before we begin, if you like the video. And the video in the video. Do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but we need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's a lurk or a talk, think about doing so. It really does help out. It makes a world of difference. We'd honestly love to have you. I love talking to new people. Please, please, please consider coming by, especially those of you that enjoy playing by the Pound content. Please consider coming by my other content too, because it really does help out the, the show as a whole if people watch more stuff in general. Support the content to see the content you like the most get better. Uh, also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content, and I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. All links are in the description. Check them out if you feel like it. Why do I always have to burp during my intros? Anyways, so Tribal Hunter. Fat for a game. You play as much. You eat things. You're a plush. He actually is a plush, so it makes sense that there's now a plush line. Check this video out. Look at this thing. I recorded this video separately because my webcam really cannot fit this guy in the frame. Look at how fat he is. He is a huge plush. My big, The biggest plush I have yet, honestly. This thing is massive. Um, it also doesn't know how to balance, which honestly, I feel like 50% of my plushes cannot stand on their own. I don't know why this is so common. It has a little tag here. This much belongs to, you can enter your name there. Uh, it's it's kind of great. Uh... Just real chonk, real, real chonk. I think his butt's kind of flat. I think they meant for him to be able to sit, but he just doesn't sit very well. It's okay, though. He tries. Um. <laughs> All right. I, I kinda, so this is a five-minute video. Here's a pearl, here's my pearl plush for comparison of size. A pearl, the pearl plush itself is not really. It's a normal size plush. It's pretty good size. Here's also the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what was that? Uh, Rollin' Wild si Series Gator from the Rollin' Wild Shorts. Which is also a very chonk plush. As you see, though, Munch beats them both. Uh, <laughs> Munch is even wider than the, the Great Gator. That's pretty hard to do, actually. Um. <laughs> but yeah, so... Munch is also really colorful. Like, I really like the dyes used for his everything. Now, size unpredictable, no banana for scale. I think I, yeah, here you go, have a Pepsi. How's that for scale? Everybody knows what a Pepsi can looks like. Here's a comparison of size right next to each other. Aha, I had you, I had you thought there. Oh, well, <laughs> much apparently doesn't like Pepsi. Maybe he's a Coke fan, I don't know. <laughs> also, the, the there's a few things you can do with a plush. This, this cloak he wears can actually be removed, which I will de delicately do here in this video. There we are. <laughs> I don't know why it's removable. It doesn't really seem necessary, but hey, cool. Nice extra iter if you just don't want him wearing his cloak, you know. Because cloaks are silly or something. I don't know. But... <laughs> I prefer Pepsi, personally, but <laughs> that's why I had one. Um, I think... Yeah, I think this is me examining his scarf and realizing it's kind of stuck to him, though. But there is some space there if you want to, like, put something on his scarf, hang, like, hang a little something off his scarf, you can do that. Uh, let's see, what do I do next to the video? It's been a little bit. Uh, put it back on. Can't leave him undressed. It's a, He's got to keep his formal wear. I am actually, I actually do like how you can play dress up with him a little bit. I know that sounds incredibly gay. I, I, I trust. I didn't play a Barbies when I was younger. I, 
But nonetheless, I do like the idea of dressing up things. I wish he... Actually, it'd be kind of cool if he came out with, like, more... If they released, like, other attire you could put on him or something, that'd be kind of neat. Does this sound gay until you said it like that? Until I pointed it out, anyways. <laughs> Ah, uh, here's a ruler. Like, it's hard to, I'm sorry for my video quality, by the way, I don't- I- this was recorded off of my old phone. Anyways, this is a foot-long ruler. You know, Imperial foot. I know everybody hates Imperial measurements, but you know, you can- you can translate that. This is- my, my finger is pointing out where the 12 foot- where the 12 inches line is. So he's a little- he's like, oh, I think like 15 inches to the top of the crest. Something about that. I don't know exactly what I was trying to point out there, but his width is very impressive too. This is <laughs> this is one of the few plushes that is basically as wide as they are tall. Because <laughs> I think I measured it, and he's almost a perfect square. If you measure his wi widest and tallest points, almost a perfect square. I think that even applies to his yeah, his uh, Z axis or whatever you call this. It's very close to that too. He is- he fits in a box very nicely, I suppose. So he's about 14 and a little bit more inches in, uh, tail death, I suppose. Is that the official term for it? I'm not sure. <laughs> Here's me pointing out, yes, he is pretty fat. Uh, now they didn't overstuff the plush. He is, he's a nice he's a nice squish and bounce to him as you see like he goes right back to shape which is nice like you push down in his belly squish it and it goes right back to belly shape but here's the thing if you overstuff a plush it doesn't make it fatter it just makes it denser and then you can like throw it at somebody and knock them out I know this because I actually took a, a doggo plush I had once and I just stuffed it with more stuffing because I had extra stuffing from another pro from a project that I was doing and I just stuffed it to see how it'd be, and it just became like dense, dense motherfucking plush dog. <laughs> but there you go, the much plush. It's pretty great. It is a little pricey, but you get a lot for it. You definitely get a lot for what you get. Like, he's 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 he is easily two or three plushes worth of plush. So him costing a bit is kind of fair. Now I will also hold on a minute. Let me... Put that there. Alright. And... There. Hey, look! Webcam. Let me slide it over a bit. Yeah, uh, uh. Okay. So, another way of demonstrating how large he is. This is my overhead webcam view of my table. It is a little close to the table because I can't zoom out the webcam too far. It's always it's been in the same position it's always been for me reviewing the webcam content. So its position has not changed whatsoever when I've also used this webcam before. But I just want to say here's my hand for for just a demonstration of how far away it is. I kind of have a big hand. But the Munch Plush, the reason I recorded a video is because trying to record the Munch Plush, hello, is uh kind of impossible with this particular camera setup. Um, <laughs> Lordy coming. Because he is, um, he's just too much. He's too much plush. He's, he's just a little too much plush for a direct webcam view, which is why I pre recorded that video. But here you go. If you want an idea of, of Munch mugging the camera with his gut, there you go. Oh, whoop, I knocked some stuff off my table even. <laughs> yeah, that clearly doesn't work, as you see. But yeah, this lord be coming, as you say. <laughs> In any case, though, I hope you guys enjoyed... Let me get the video back up. Hope you guys enjoyed looking at the much plush. Uh, th th he's, he's big. <laughs> he's a big boy. <laughs> if you... If you guys uh, decide to buy it, it is a bit pricey. I don't know if the line is still up right now. Let me see, actually. Because it was up in Pawprint, uh, uh, store.pawprint.press. 
I will provide a link in the YouTube description, actually. Um, he was there. Let's see if he still is, actually. I'm, I'm going to look this up. Because they sold him. And then he he sold out in, like, three days. He sold out in, like, three freaking days. <laughs> so I'm glad I bought him when I did. It does seem like they got the line back up. So it does look like there's more you can buy. Uh, over at... Here's here's the link if anybody's curious. Um, $54.99. Actually, pretty... And then uh, probably some shipping. Probably some shipping. He is... Uh, if I were to give your, him a weight, he's actually not as heavy as he might look. Uh, because again, he's not, like, overstuffed. They made him fat in build, but the stuffing amount is reasonable. He squishes nicely and stuff. Um, and he, he does bring back the position, but he's not overstuffed or anything, so he's not, like, super duper heavy. Still, though, he does weigh two or three plushes, so he's still not light. <laughs> So the pl the shipping's probably going to be a good ten dollars or more. Um, I can't remember how much I pay personally for my Canadian shipping, but yeah, it's like probably going to cost you around 70, 70 or so USD. Pretty worth it though if you like if you like Tribal Hunter. You want a giant fucking plush? Honestly, he's a, he'd be a great bed plush. Plush that I think about. It. He's one of those plushes where it's like, where do you put him on your bed? <laughs> like, he's a bed plush definitely. But yeah, so that was the Tribal Hunter Munch Plush. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah. I, I will be back for more bonus Tribal Hunter content. Uh, we, we, we I do have a part 9. Or, I'm sorry, part 8 plan. Because this is part 7 of the bonus content. Part 8 will be something of a mod. More on that later, though. Because I'm still working the details out on that. Look forward to that in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed.